if you're looking for growth, you're going to need to know who does what when. And if that's all of you right now, write it down. Now, traditionally, people would say, give me a business plan if you want to have some investors or you need money for different things. But the reality is, like, a lot of people don't sit down and write business plans for their Amazon business. And to be honest with you, I kind of have, like, this haphazard um, business plan. I like to make goals and different things, but I'm also not looking for capital investors or angel investors and anything like that. I'm not filing for grants, so I don't really necessarily need a formal business plan. But what I do have is, what is my plan of action? What are my key performance indicators, KPIs, for example, what is showing me whether or not I'm growing or sustaining and where what needs work. So who's doing what when? So and we have a team. And so who does what when? So exa for example, Prep Center receives, bundles, and ships all of our items to FBA. So that is their part of the process. My mom and I are the creative heads where we look at catalogs, we put, we do the research, we do the listings, we do the products, and uh, someone else does the images and the follow-up and ordering. And so who is doing what when in your business? This is just minding your business. This is the reason why I start with this one is because this is the one that people ignore the most. They don't want to do business operations. They just want to dig into catalogs and build listings or uh, build bundles and products and get excited about that. Well, me too. But the money is made in the numbers. The money is made at the end of the day when you actually sell that product and then see how much you're making on it. Because your initial investment or your initial cost of goods or your fees might have been one thing, but then when you actually make a sale and realize that the fees are a little bit more for whatever reason or Amazon made a mistake or you made a mistake somewhere, um, that's the real numbers. And those are the ones that you need to mind the most because our initial estimate um, may not have been correct. So you want to make sure that you're minding your business um, and who's doing what when and why are they doing it? And looking at things like what can you not be doing in order to grow your business, you're going to have to invest in someone, something, or or both. Number one, your own education. In order to grow, you need to learn. You learn new things. Um, if you're at a stage where you're kind of hitting a plateau, maybe there's something new you need to add. And today's show is going to give you a lot of these suggestions of what you need to do to move forward and grow, specifically in this business. But another thing you might need to grow in with minding your business is your processes. Who's doing what when? Is it a well-oiled machine? Are you all over the place and unorganized and you sit at your desk and don't really know what you're supposed to do today because you don't have a boss telling you, sit down and do this. These are things we have to grow into. And as our business grows, we start to get more overwhelmed with all the different things that are going to come on our plate and we need to be a little bit more organized. So that's what I mean about minding your business. And listen, you guys, if any of you have questions about these things or you're saying, okay, yes, number one, I need to mind my business and I don't really know how, I got your back. This is what I do. I am a business strategist. I help people grow and succeed every single day in multiple industries. Believe it or not, I coach people and mentor people that are not even in the Amazon space because everybody needs to mind their business in some sort of way and everybody needs an outside look. Someone needs to look inside your business because you're so caught up in it that you may not even realize what's what the bottleneck is. And so that's really what I do. So if you need any of these things, whether it's going to be minding your business and your numbers and getting your duckies in a row or um, marketing or expansion or diversification, I've got your back. MommyIncome.com slash coach. Uh, I do coaching packages and uh, coaching on a regular basis to help you continue moving forward. So check that out if that's something that you're interested in having one-on-one -on -one mentorship. I don't have a lot of open spots. Um, so make sure that you pay attention to that. I love to see all of my clients' um, successes come to pass. So any of these growth strategies you feel like you need, uh, hit me up and I can help you with that. Okay, number two, marketing. It's not 